Courtney and I have a really special bond. I haven't felt that from her in the past couple months, and that's been frustrating for me, but I also don't want to put that all on her shoulders, because it's not all on her shoulders. But I do feel a major disconnect between her and I, like, specifically. And I would like to understand what that is. And I'm sure that worries you. I mean, it sounds like you guys have such a nice bond, and the tension is concerning you, and you miss her. I just think you guys, like, aren't, like, happy for me. Like, genuinely. Like, when I'm, like, I'm going on a trip, like, everything to you guys, and this is what I was trying to say to you on the phone, it's, like, everything is the show is more important, work's more important. Maybe traveling isn't like a priority to you, but it is to me. But I feel like you would never take the time to just go, like do something, because maybe you don't want to leave work, maybe you don't want to do this, whatever it is. Everyone's like resentful that they need to like pick up more slack or something. I definitely think Courtney's going through something, but she can't commit to filming a season and sharing her life if she's not going to at all. We honestly want Courtney to take her trips. We want Courtney to live her life and do whatever she wants to do. But we just want her to be held accountable and be responsible that when you take a job and you're getting paid to do something that you honor that, because all of us do. Do you guys respect each other's priorities? I think I do. I think I'm happy that Chloe lives in Cleveland half the time because I know that's where she, where she wants to be. And I mean, whatever Kim has to do, I think on the day of that particular shoot, I agree that I acted like I didn't care about all of her stuff because I truly didn't. She didn't have any other appointments. She just wanted to take the day easy. I also think it's not just this one day. Courtney basically for the past like few months has been consistently late to work, which is, you know, there's always an excuse this or that, but we've all been getting irritated. And when we're like, what's wrong? She's like, oh, couldn't get it together, deal with it. Like, we were feeling very much like, if we could all be here on time, please make yourself available. Or, or when you are here, be present. She's been on her phone. So we were feeling frustrated with that aspect. So that was a reoccurring daily kind of nitpicking that we would all do or throw little jabs. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure for Courtney, yeah, that got really annoying to her, but I think we thought if we keep doing this, she'll be on time. I think it's like everyone understanding that we all have different priorities and like working is just, it's not my top priority. It's, it's never going to be. You were leaving once a month. But that was a new relationship and my boyfriend was not living in the country. So if I had to leave for one week every six weeks, that's what it was. And I've been present and I've been here and I've been doing stuff. So it's like to harp on these old, a two month period or something, that's where it hurts my feelings. I feel like my sisters really aren't hearing what I'm saying and that we're focusing on the wrong issues about me being late or my trips. And I just don't know like how this is gonna change moving forward.